today I'm going to be doing a comparison between the Nike Vaporfly 4% and the new Hoka Carbon X. Uh, now I'm going to be giving my opinion on which shoe is better and also giving you kind of pros and cons and what each shoe is best at just so you guys know which shoe is better for you. Now first we're going to be talking about the price point between these two shoes uh, just to kind of give you guys you know a price range if there is one for you. These come in at around 250 bucks and these come in around 180. Second thing we will talk about is kind of the weight of each shoe. Uh, this one is going to come in at around 8.7 ounces in a size 9 and this one around 7 ounces in a size 9. So this one is going to be a little bit heavier. And I think most of that weight comes from uh, this bottom portion of the shoe. The upper um, is actually basically kind of see-through and really, really light, uh, same as this. Um, the upper is super um, light and see-through. It's a fly knit material. Um, the bottom is the heavier part of the shoe. Uh, but this cushioning system in the 4% is lighter than this one in the Hoka. But you do need to keep in mind that uh, these shoes do run out super quick. I've seen people saying around like 100 to 125 miles is basically all this shoe can take, while this shoe is going to last you a lot longer. Now we're going to be talking about the uh, availability of each shoe. Now you can find the Nike 4% uh, Vaporflies on certain websites, uh, depending on what size you wear, if you do wear a more popular size, they're going to be definitely hard to find. You definitely won't be able to find these unless you're buying them on kind of like a, a resale site where you're going to have to pay above retail. But for retail, it's going to be kind of hard to find these shoes. I'm not saying it's impossible. There's definitely some sites out there, I'm sure, that have this shoe in, so in stock. But if you are wearing a popular size, it's going to be a little bit harder to find. Um, and if you can't find them, you're going to actually have to pay, um, like I said, on a reseller's website. Um, which is going to cost you more. You're going to pay above retail. Now, as of time of making this video, these shoes are on sale on Hoka's um, website uh, in all sizes. All sizes are in stock. 180 is retail for these. Um, so you can go ahead and pick these up right now. Now, this portion of the video, I'm going to sit down and talk about each shoe and what I like about each shoe and kind of what I use it for as well as like distances and stuff like that. So we will start off with the Hoka's. We'll put that right here. Um, the Hoka, what I really love about this shoe, it's going to last a lot longer than the 4%. Um, it is a little bit heavier, but it is still pretty light. Like I said, most of the weight is coming um, from this cushioning down here, uh, but that is going to last you more mileage, so that is good. The upper is super lightweight, uh, breathable. The tongue is tucked in, uh, so it hugs your foot really well. Um, and then as far as what I'm going to use this shoe for, I'm going to use this shoe for longer races and workouts. I think this shoe is where it's going to, you know, really prevail. Um, I'm going to use it. My go-to workout this summer is every, uh, 10 days. I'm going to do a 15 miler with the middle nine miles as three times three mile sections. Um, so I'm going to be using this shoe kind of because I'm going to need that speed for the three times three mile in the middle. Um, but it's also going to be a long workout, so I don't want to be in something uh, like the 4%. I want to be in something um, definitely that's going to last a little bit longer. Um, so I think this is going to be a great shoe for that type of stuff. Races-wise, uh, marathon, half marathon, uh, ultra, if people run ultras that watch my videos, um, maybe 10K. I could see it being a 10K shoe. Um, but that's where I would stop it. I wouldn't run in this shoe in the 5k. I actually ran a 5k today um, And I did not run in this shoe I actually ran in the 4% because I felt like this shoe was a little bit too heavy um, For the 5k distance uh, you're definitely gonna need some speed on the 5k So I felt as if you know that extra weight carrying that are that around and trying to pick my legs up pretty quick um, Could actually tire me out a little bit. I know it's not a significant amount of weight um, but it is something to put in mind when you are thinking about which shoe to buy. Now we will talk about the uh, Nike 4%. Um, I think this shoe is great. I love this shoe. I've actually ran two races now in this shoe. I haven't put a ton of mileage on this thing, but I have ran two races. I ran the 5K today um, where there will be a video going up. I'm not sure if it's up by this point, so I don't want to say the result and spoil it uh, because it was a special race for me. 
Um, but I uh, ran a 10K in these and ran 3253, I believe. So that was a great race um, in these shoes. These shoes have done great for me. When I first got them, I did have some blistering issues, um, but that was probably, that's individual. Um, it's different for every person if you'll have that or not, just based on, you know, how stuff's rubbing and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I did have some blistering issues on the arch of my foot. Um, the insole on this thing is super skinny, which I personally don't really like. Um, but you know, it's different from everyone. That's just my personal opinion. As far as what this shoe is good for, um, it's a super light shoe. Like I said, a lot lighter, um, than the Hoka. So I think I'm going to use this shoe definitely for shorter distance, probably starting at around 10 K, um, is where I'm going to use this shoe and then uh, 5k for sure um, and then shorter workouts uh, type of things repeats stuff like that uh, probably like k repeats mile repeats um, stuff like that I'll probably use this shoe stuff that I'm not going super long in just because the shoe will uh, wear out super easy so I don't want to be using this shoe for a ton of mileage just because within you know a few runs the shoe is going to be worn out uh, which is kind of a big deal for me that's kind of the one thing that kind of bugs me about this uh, type of shoe um, that it does wear out super quick. So if you are going to buy this shoe, I wouldn't recommend running in it every day. I wouldn't even recommend wearing this shoe for all your workouts. Um, I would definitely save this shoe for races. Um, they do perform, they do perform, excuse me, on race day. Uh, this shoe is absolutely phenomenal on race day. So as far as which shoe is better, like I said, different scenarios. I think this shoe is going to be great for your shorter distance stuff, 10K and down, uh, shorter workouts. But this is really going to you know, do great in your longer stuff, uh, 10K and up, and longer workouts. So basically, it all comes down to how much do you want to pay, you know, 250 180 um, how much use are you going to use um, the shoe. So this isn't going to last very long. This will last long. Um, you know, what distances are you running short, long, it all comes down to those little things. So it's, in, it's individually, you know, what you want to use the shoe for. Um, so I'm not really sure if I can answer the question on which shoe I like the most. I haven't even raced in this shoe. I've ran in this shoe once, um, but I have raced in this a lot and this shoe has done me very well. I really enjoy the Nike four percents. Um, but I am really enjoying this shoe. The first run in it, it was absolutely phenomenal. This was a fantastic shoe. Um, so I'm kind of on the fence on which shoe is better. Um, like I said, it's individual, you know, whatever you're wanting out of a shoe, um, is what you should probably pick. Um, so pick which shoe fits you most. And that's basically all I can say for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did stumble upon this video, you know, looking at, uh, reviews of either one of these shoes or a comparison between these two shoes. Um, if you do enjoy running content, make sure to subscribe. I upload a ton of running content um, from my training, my races, stuff like that, uh, sit down talk videos like that. I upload all kinds of running content. Uh, I am transferring into uh, college, so I will be uploading my college races and stuff like that. So if you guys are interested in that, uh, make sure to subscribe. And I hope to see you guys in future videos.